chiasms, the Rosetta Stone of Scripture. That really isn't a bait and switch title here today. We could get there, but we probably won't get it there in one hour. We won't get there from here. When, when we um, had Pastor Raymond start being our pastor in Randolph here in our district, we got together. We were having Friday night Bible study groups. And he asked us in our group, uh, I think it was one of the first meetings, he says, Well, what are you studying in the Bible? And we all kind of look at him. He says, what, is that? what do you mean? He says, Well, you know, I just read through the Psalms, and, you know, we're, we want to get into Daniel. He says, Yeah, I, I know. He says, But what are you studying? He says, Tell me, share with me what you're studying. Is well, you know, we're reading this in our service school. Lesson. I know, but what are you studying? It's like, what do you mean? <laughs> and it's like, you know, we really didn't know until after we've been with him for a while what studying really means wrestling with something, coming up with something, a stumbling block, an obstacle. And it's like, what does this mean? What does this mean? And I'm not a big reader, okay? Um, and, and this whole chiastic structure thing kind of took a while to build on me. And, and the more and more we study with him, the more you'll hear him using that phrase, right? And still people today, like, what do you mean? What, what does that mean? So, so that's where I want to come with today. I want to kind of start at the beginning because that's a phrase if, if you talk with Pastor Raymond, if you're going to want to study scripture more in depth, you're going to have to understand at least the concept of it. Okay? So this is this is where I want to go today. Okay? A basic chiastic structure, it's a sequence of ideas, is presented and then repeated in reverse order. Okay? A sequence of ideas presented and then repeated in reverse order. The result is like a mirror. It effect as the ideas are reflected back in the passage. Okay, let's turn to Mark two twenty seven. See if anybody can pick out the chiastic structure in Mark two twenty seven. Ready? We got homework. Not homework unless you take it home. Just start it. Two twenty-seven. Job. This is job that's easy. Yeah. Well, the Sabbath is in there. Sabbath is the main. Man is in there. Point I think. Two. Son of man is in there. Well, it's not the main point, it's the first and the last point, right? Don't get too hung up on the exact details because you don't really know anything about Diana, right? Oh, yeah, sure, right. <laughs> we don't know anything. Okay, so is what we're looking for here is the Sabbath was made for man, right? Am I in the same, am I in the right? Verse? Yeah, yeah. And then he repeats itself backwards, not man for the Sabbath. Okay, so that's that's part of the structure. Okay, we start with the Sabbath, we end with the Sabbath. Man is in the middle part of this. Okay, so that that's kind of what we're looking for. It's um, if we if we draw, so we have A, B. Oops, I'm wrong already. A, B, C, B, A. Okay? So we're looking for these two are going to be, okay, now this, this is difficult, okay, but it's a key point. When we're looking at these, the thought pattern could be the same thought pattern. It could be a common thought or it could be the completely opposite. We could have insightful over here and 
stupidity over here. It's the same, the same thought pattern. Seems like I jumped from some place to some place. But let, let's just run with it. Are you with me so far? Mm -hmm. Okay. So these are going to be a similar within the pattern. You typically, the center point is in the middle. And then you're going to start repeating coming backwards. Center point or C. Is there another way you could say center point? Climax. Climax. Theme. Climax. The main theme. 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 Be there you go. That's, that's the point that mm -hmm. we need to focus on. Okay. And that's really different from how typically we read a story. You know, we read a story and it builds up to the climax, and the mm -hmm. climax is at the end. And, yeah. okay. and so this way, the Bible is written, is, is confusing to us as Westerners because it's like the climax is in the middle of the story. Kind of like Daniel 7, 8, and 9, because Daniel 7 is the sacrifice, right. the priest is Daniel 8, and then Daniel 9 is the king. So, right. kind of, you know, okay. or is it the other way around? No, king, priest, sacrifice. That's right. Sorry, I got it right. And so, we'll see these throughout the, the scripture. And yet, as, as you say, this will help us understand the books of Daniel and Revelation. Because when we look, when we look at a picture, okay, this is this is a person just throwing a ball to the dog. Well, dogs catching the ball, right? That is a frisbee. Okay, it might be a frisbee, but today it's going to be a ball. Okay, <laughs> and in the chiastic structure, the dog catches the ball from the person that's throwing the ball. Okay, it's the same story, but it's different. Okay, <laughs> and so do we know what ball is being thrown here? We don't, we don't. But if over here in part of the story, it's talking about the ball that's being thrown in the park next to the tennis court. Now, do we have an idea of what ball is being thrown. Mm. Could be a tennis ball. Could be a tennis ball. So what you're saying is, is that the opposite, the opposing verse can also be building on the theme. Exactly. Yeah. And I think I put that in the title. The Rosetta Stone. Do we not know? John, what's the Rosetta Stone? Rosetta Stone was discovered in Egypt and it's got three different languages all the same inscription. It was the very beginning of deciphering in, uh, Egyptian hieroglyphics because it's got cuneiform hieroglyphics and what's the third one? I'm losing it. Anything else? I think it's Aramaic, but I'm not positive. About Isn't that this. pretty amazing? How many languages? Three. And how many do we have here? <laughs> so, so, <laughs> another, 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 another three. Chalk up another three. Okay, so think of it as the Rosetta Stone. It's a key, okay? It's not all about the knowledge, okay? It's not all about the details. So I put this up, Pastor Raymond keeps talking about, it's about our relationship with Christ that's important. It's not the book knowledge. He doesn't show up and he doesn't start preaching on really cool stuff, right? He backs us up so we can begin to build that relationship. And for me, for me, I get caught up in the details. But when we look at a picture, we want the conceptual picture. Um, Pastor Ice refers to them as the ancients. Ellen White refers to the ancients, right? Mm -hmm. When you look at the picture, and I don't have a good one here, um, I wanted to do an experiment. And I was going to draw a picture on eight, five pieces of paper of a person throwing the ball at the dog. And on the other five, I was going to have a picture of the dog catching the ball from the person. And then I was going to have everybody write what that picture was. And my hypothesis, because we haven't proven it yet, is... The people that started with a man throwing the dog, they're going to say, this is a picture of somebody throwing a dog at, at, at 
throwing the ball at the dog, right? Mm -hmm. And the other half that has the picture of the dog catching the ball, what are they going to say? Picture of the dog catching the ball. Right. It's the exact same thing oh, that's taken. We're gonna place. Look, we're gonna read it left to right because that's what we're trained to do. Yeah. And why is that? Because <clears throat> that's what we're trained to do. That's what we're trained to do. It's and great. where 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 was the thinking that we were trained to do that? It's where did we shift from conceptual understanding to reading left to right? Right. Uh, linear. linear. Linear thinking versus conceptual thinking. Harry? Western thinking, Hellenized, Hellenization. Okay. Are you, are you with me? So when we're looking at these chiastic structures, this side is going to help determine what this side is and vice versa. Okay. So now, so now we, we know where this event is taking place, right? Where is it taking place? In the ballpark. In the ballpark. By the tennis court. By the tennis court. Okay. And... Who is, what do we know about the person throwing the ball? He's a tennis player. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Might like dogs. Maybe. Might like dogs. Got a dog. <laughs> we don't really know, do we? Well, I need to okay. But what if this side of the story here is talking about they're, ha they're having a, the, 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 the little league baseball coach is having a birthday party and the little leaguers are there celebrating the coach's birthday okay and what if over here it talks about um the white ball now now what ball probably is it the baseball it's probably a baseball right it's probably a kid who plays little league and it's probably a kid so just by inferring a little bits of details on one end or the other, you can start to draw form a picture, picture yeah. together. Okay. So and that essentially is, is conceptual thinking anyway. It's like building you're you're essentially building a puzzle. Okay. Okay. Is that exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that's why I think I'm attracted to this, because I like pro I hate word problems. So don't get me going, but I like I like trying to figure things out, yeah. you know, and that's and that's to me that's what it is. Okay, so now just don't call it a word problem. If you were <laughs> if you were to look at this, what would you think? Um, not not thinking chiastically at all. What would you think would be the center point of, of this the story? That the bird intercepts the ball could be. Um, the, dog, the dog. The dog, for sure. Because it's like two the people and it's two people and one dog, so the dog is definitely. <laughs> well, that's thinking chiastically. I'm thinking if you don't look at it chiastically. Is it a trick yeah. question? Two people play a ball, a dog gets a ball. Yes. If we just saw a picture of a, a person throwing a ball to the dog, what would, and, and it's your son throwing the ball, who do you think would be kind of the highlight of the story? Could be. Could be. Probably the son. Could be. Probably yeah. the son. Be. Okay. Now, this is a Robin. I was just going to say, um, we're going we're gonna to tie a Robin. Robin if it's a baseball. Okay. Big Robin. Bigger than the like, <laughs> If in this part of the story it talks about that they saw a flock of robins or the ball went through the flock of robins, okay? What time is that is taking is this taking place? Spring. In the springtime. Probably in the springtime. Or fall. Okay. It could be in the fall. It could be in the fall. It, it is, okay, because that's when they're gonna gather. They're gonna gather in the spring and in the fall. Okay. Um, when you're driving the roads in April and May, and you're driving the roads in October, November, we, when do you usually see the tennis courts busy? Mm -hmm. Typically in the springtime. Mm -hmm. Okay. So all of these little things where we were just thinking the main part of the story is, oh, there's a game of pets going on out here, starts to bring together a bigger picture. Does that mm. kind of make sense? No. 
So I just made this up. So, you know, nobody take notes. Um, you know, relationship divided by knowledge times conceptual divided by details. All of those make up chiasms. So we're back to these patterns are going to fall. They're either going to be the same. They're going to be or common theme or they can be complete opposites. Okay. So the next one we're going to look at is Genesis chapter one. And we probably all, all got this pretty good by now. In the beginning. So this is this is the beginning. <clears throat> so we have A and we have B and we have C. And then actually here we come back to A, B, and we come back to C, and then D. Um, ends ends up. So what happens in A during the creation? What's the very first day? Light. Okay, so we got light. Okay, what happens the very second day? Water could be a firmament, water. firmament in the midst of the waters. No, okay, and then in C we have earth. Grass, trees, fruits, nuts. Okay, these are all things you can eat. What happened to water? The water's always been there. Water's up here. Right? The spirit is moving over the surface of the waters of the deep. Oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Above. Okay. <clears throat> so he's created some kind of light. So now what's the light is what 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 is he going to put in to rule the day and the night? The sun and the moon. Okay. Sun. Moon. And you know stars. And he stars. made the stars also. Just as an afterthought. <laughs> and he made the stars also. <laughs> and he made also. Okay. A few what did, a few what stars did, at the What did you do on this this day? Okay, the creatures. Okay, and then what happens on the sixth day? Man. Somebody to eat. We can do the eating. Somebody to take care. Of. There's stuff to eat. The <laughs> Some, something to eat. It. The beef. Okay. Now sometimes there's structures within structures, right? So you've got on the sixth day here is broken out into two parts. Okay. Beasts so you have the beasts <coughs> of the earth, and here you have Adam and Eve. In the seventh day, seven. Okay. So when you look at this, can you really have this without this? Can can these creatures exist if they don't have something to eat? No, firmament. You gotta terrify me. I was gonna connect have, B and B. I was gonna have Brian up here. What do I need to do? Right here? Uh, oh creatures need can it, uh, oh, creatures B &B need to be you're gonna connect B into you B's gotta go to B. You just went B to C. Oh, I may have done that. Sorry. Yeah. So you've gotta stick with the Okay, so stick with the program, right? Yeah, stick with the program. <laughs> okay. So creatures, that's fish and birds, firmament is separated from the waters. You got birds in the sky in the firmament and fish in the waters. Mm -hmm. So B instead of creatures just for fish and birds, as those are more right, birds. as opposed to those particularly the, those are birds that inhabit the fish, the, the, the firmament and the water. Out there. And then C and C, you've got something to eat and eaters. Thank you. Okay, I think um, sometimes my mind wanders when the pastor speaks. 
Anybody have that problem? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Never. Oh, yeah. So, huh? So, um, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Why didn't you do it in a, in a, a gun? Because trying to, this, this is kind of. It's like a ladder. These are going to match up. These are going to match up. These are going to match up. And in this particular case, the last becomes the final case. So the, so the seventh day. Oh, you didn't want it to be up at the top. Oh, okay. Okay, so it doesn't have to always be in the middle. It's okay. not always going to be. Right. It's not always going to follow a specific up and down. Sometimes it's going to be this way. So right. right. And that's where it gets confusing. Right. And yeah. there's other, yeah, there's other, so other I mean, there's other chiastic things. You can have right. a chiastic oh, yeah. chiastic. Like, if, you know, like. Chapter one, it says, in the beginning, God created. And then at the end, verse 31 says, and God saw everything that he made and he all the right good. So you've already got like kind of the end the of beginnings. your chiastic. So there's something, there's something that brings that all together. If you were to do a whole chapter. And what is, what is chapter two talking about? Chapter two says, yeah. The oh, South, oh, okay. right? and that was kind of the culminating. So, right? so there could be, if we could do that maybe this is the center point. Mm. Oh, I see. Of a bigger structure than we have to come across here. But it's also the center point of his creation as well, isn't it? It is. It's the clock, in this case, it's kind of the anatomical end, right? But in order to go with chiasm, it's not necessarily a lamactic end so much as the main theme, the point. The, the, this is what I want you to get from this is took the day, took the Sabbath. Made it holy, you know. Set it apart, rested. That's that's the point of looking at the chiasm, right? right. To find that main theme, right? The idea that's trying to be expressed. So, could this be different for someone who has like a different way of thinking? They could, but because you said there could be a chiastic structure within a chiastic structure. Yeah, it's like taking a Bible verse and says, oh, well, this is what it says and what it means. So there's, is well, there it's no going to mean something Bible? different. It's Matthew gone. 24, Jeff did a chiastic structure of his beautiful, and then the pastor did a totally different chiastic structure. Yeah, so same chapter. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. I think if you could put it in a box, then God isn't God. Right. You can't put God in a box, right? right? He's not eternal. And we, you may not agree with my. You know, some of these things that's going to describe what kind of ball this is over here, you, you may really be convinced it's a tennis ball. It's just really a tennis ball. You know, and I'm really convinced it's, it's really a baseball, you know, and and maybe it is. Maybe the first time was a tennis ball, they lost it, the second was a baseball. I don't know. Well, that's you know, what's that's but, what's, but don't get caught up in the details. Is there a cement? Is it symmetrical? Symmetrical mm -hmm. that we can keep following the pattern to move on on to the next stage. and to get the concept right. That's, that's the that's the key is right. to, to that's try. What I was going to say. Understanding right. the thing. right. You right. Want to get the concept. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. this is. We can go home. Now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, can't yet. Like, no, this is a way for us to. Uh, based on the way that we think and the way that our minds work, understand the concept within that thinking. It does. It's not a hard and fast. It's not a linear thought. It's a conceptual wow. thing. Okay. It reinforces his words. More of a comment. Mm. So, in, in my thoughts over years ago was, oh. once you define something, you've changed the meaning. So when when we when we label something, we label it based upon our worldview and our understandings, and so the process and the meaning work together. And so the, the point I want to make is that when we when we take something and we create an opinion about it, a ball is a ball. Well, it may not be a ball to somebody else. Like we, we, right, exactly. Yes. And, and we've or changed we've changed the meaning. So we have to get back to what you said earlier is, well, who created the situation and can we get into his mind and find out what it is that he's trying to portray within the storyline? 
Right, because you're going to read this first through. You're just going to blow through it. And, and you've been playing, you've got a dog, and you've been playing frisbee with that dog forever. And you're going to read through here, and you're just going to assume that that's a frisbee that they're playing with, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. But it, as you get over to this side, and suddenly the frisbee doesn't match up with tennis or baseball. Okay. So what, what am I holding up here? An owl. Candle. Okay. Your arm. So <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> they're looking at the whole, they're looking at the conceptual. Okay. So you, I mean you got it. If I if I put this here like this and I say, Mark, describe what you see, and I say, Lori, describe what you see, they're gonna get very different pictures of what they see, but it's the same picture. Okay. So that's where we're going. That's that's where I see the chiastic structure is helping my relationship with God and seeing how that ties. In, in our in our it's our coming together brings all those thoughts to bear and, and can help us to form a more complete picture of, right. of, of the church. concept. I think the that's church. why God that's why yeah. God <laughs> that's why God invented the church and study and everything. Right? I heard a good message on that all, this morning. You get all. It's kind of like if there's a coming crime, together. It's kind of like if there's a crime scene and you have a bunch of witnesses. Yeah. Every single one of the witnesses has a different side of the story. But when you take the outside, when you look at it as a whole, you find the truth. The, the, you get the, the common the common themes. You know, I just, yeah. I, you know, I, if, if sorry. Mr. Fry, I'm going to pick on you. That's fine. So, yeah. if Mr. Fry I'm used to it. Used, the ex murderer. I used to hang out with John. Street, he, has a, he has a red tie. And then, Susie's so saying, no, he has a puppy dad tie. But it's the, the main story behind it. You're the theme. That's why it's just 197 people in this current place. Totally. One, one other thing. And I say this to my daughter all the time, so she could probably repeat it with no problem. My character personality states, Satan takes control of every mind that's not under the control of God. Mm -hmm. So when we think, well, who are we thinking with? Right. Are we thinking with the mind of my own, which is really not my own, it's the foe, or am I thinking it with the friend? So we have to make sure that we bring everything to the table, especially when we're studying the word of God, but when we interact with our fellow man as well. And that, yeah, it's a good point. Very good point. Now, where else this is important is where we start, it's where we start spanning verses, chapters, books, okay? And, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but memory serves me right. John will help me. If we look at the book of Daniel, okay, Daniel is, there's, there's lots of structures in Daniel. I'm not going to go there. But sometimes, you know, we got to start with the big picture, okay? So Daniel chapter 2 is going to chiastically pair with Daniel chapter 7. Daniel chapter 3 is chiastically going to pair with Daniel chapter 6. Mm -hmm. And the two points in the middle is the theme of that structure. So all I, that's a whole other study another time. But all I really want to go with here is, again, in this case, the person is throwing the ball to the dog. Okay. In this case, the dog is catching the ball from the person. So what took place first? They had to throw the ball, right? But in this scenario, he's throwing the ball way at the end of the story. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I saw a dog in the park. It was leaping yep. up. Not it true. leapt up as it as it leapt up. I saw it catch a ball. Once I looked and saw that the ball had been caught, I realized that there was a boy to the far right of the dog that I'd seen who had thrown the ball. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. We also wow. her, we, won't, we won't see that. I know. We won't see that but, at all. But, but you, you, see, you see how that works. We get in our brain that it has it has to start here yeah. and it has to end here. But but the Hebrew, all through the Hebrew writing is this. They're get they're giving you the whole picture in in these chapters. Get you to and when you when you get into Revelation, 
It's the same thing, you know, because we're looking at the seals and we're thinking they're linear. Because that's what we want to think. One, two, three, but four, and, five. And that's why, and Lori, you said the other day about why is it so hard to read the Bible sometimes? Well, if you, well, do you remember? Right, right, because, you know, you don't read up to a climax. You know, it's like the climax and then you know the story and then you're repeating it backward. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I took. What's I, wrong with those people? <laughs> I took, um, was, it, was it Revelation 21? Do you even remember what I shared with the church the other day? I don't remember. I did. I, I, let's just call it Revelation 21 because nobody knows any different, right? <laughs> <laughs> and there's this huge chiasm from the beginning to the end. I mean, I'm down to like LMNLP for the climax and I'm coming back up to, you know, CDA, okay? And, and these thoughts are, are parallel in each other. And it's like, it's, it's, it's just so cool. It gives you goosebumps. And so then I, 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 I took the chiasm out of the chiastic structure. What does that mean? No idea. Right? I don't know. Right? So, so now I did, uh, instead of reading it like this, oh man. I have to look at my notes. Where did my notes go? Go on. Put them right here. Yeah. You could understand it all together. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, you so, you so now A that. is I remember. let there be light. And I created the sun, moon, and stars, right? I separated the ferment. I made the sea and the years. And within that, I put the water creatures <laughs> and the birds. And then C. Is and then I made the grass and the trees and the nuts and all the good things to eat so I could put in the beast of the earth and create man. See? So so to think, to think that you would take that that we're accustomed to and to separate it into a mirror image identically coming down the other side of the structure. That you can still read it makes sense. Mm -hmm. right? bringing, the, bring the, bringing the two mirrors together. Bringing the two mirrors together. And then can you imagine if you had to write one of these things? Now, I understand that the book of um, Ulysses is written in chiasms. Oh. Um, you, the book the, Ulysses? The Iliad and the Odyssey. The Iliad and the Odyssey. I was going to say, not you, Ulysses. There's, there's the, three Iliad books, the right? Odyssey, yeah. The Iliad and the Odyssey. Is the kind of two? There's two. two. There's two. Yeah. Oh, there's only two. Yeah. I mean, I, I just can't imagine. And and then and then just to wet your taste buds a little bit. Um, kind of one of the things that got me going on this was uh, we we're, were studying the lay of the sea in church, so mm -hmm. we're way back to what Revelation three or something. And and what what's the lay of the sea in church commission to do? Mm, to buy you know, gold and buy gold, gold. Yeah. Yeah. And white yeah. raiment, yeah. yeah, all that sort of stuff, right? Yeah, um, because what condition were they in? Yeah, they are blind. blind, they're rich they're and increased with goods and in need yeah. of nothing. Yeah. And what does the three angels' message ask us to do? Mm. Come out of who? Come out of battle. Come, Come out of battle. battle. So, where's the latency in church? In battle. Mm -hmm. How did the latency in church get in battle? People were thinking they were exiled. Same way the Jews got to battle. They were exiled. Tells us all about it in Daniel chapter 1. Oh. So I got thinking, what else? There are parallelism. We went into Babylon. The lady of the church is in Babylon. And then we're told to come out of Babylon. Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden, this can span. I mean, who's going to sit down and figure that one out? Right. right, you are. Apparently, Who's going to write it? We know you can. Do you it. Too. Know you can you do conceptualize it. it. <laughs> yeah. And you tie those. Yeah, those but who's but who's going to write it? Exactly. In, who's going to write it in 560 BC <laughs> and in 60 AD? Well, it's through cool. through it's three crazy. different writers. Crazy. Yeah, it's it's different different God. yeah, exactly. And that's that's the relationship. Centuries Knowing who, who put this together. And he's got to be he's got to be central to you, all your things. It, it has to be Christ centered, like Mark said, or it's not, or it's not. Well, it, it can lead you right to the devil. Yeah. You got me thinking about Revelation and, and reading it linearly. And we can't because if you read, if you just go in order of the seals, 
The sixth seal is for the great day of his wrath has come and who is able to stand. And then you go to the sixth trumpet. And it ends with, and they did not repent of their murders or, you know, you know, the rest of mankind who were not killed by these plagues did not repent of their works. And then you go to the last of the bowls, the sixth, um, the seventh bowl, and great hail fell from heaven, you know, fell from heaven upon men, and each stone was the way men blaspheme God. It's like, so the world ends <laughs> each time. <laughs> But, world but, but it can't end and then end again and then end again. So they're parallel. It's a concept. It's, yeah, it's, it's, a, concept it's a theme. If we read it in a linear fashion, which is what is what, what many we, tend, you know, we do. I've, I've had discussions with people and they're like, well, a third of the people die here and then a fourth of the people die here. Start and them up. <laughs> well, wait a minute. We've, we've died 12 so times. It's, but, but it's also, it's okay. So it must be a fourth of the ones that are left. And then third of the ones that are left, you end up with a really small number. Ten. That's <laughs> <laughs> but if you read like a parallel that they're all happening yeah. concurrently, the, yeah. the, the trumpet, the seal, the trumpet, and the bowl is all being poured out at one time. Mm -hmm. The next seal, trumpet, and bowl are all coming at the same time. Oh, that's in awesome. our linear discussion, in our linear thought, mm -hmm. all three of those are happening at the same time. It, if you put it into that, there it is. You know, you don't have to read it in a linear fashion. Hmm. Okay. So don't don't get hung up on too much of what he's you know saying. That's oh, good. That's good. I'm just saying let's grow into it. Let's look. But but look. Okay. But, you, but that just when you said what about Revelation? That's the thing that caught that's me was what the there. world that doesn't stop three times. You know, it's do destroyed you, once. Do you have to no. understand chiasms to read the Book of Revelation and get a lesson? No. 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 But if you understand chiasms, what happens to that relationship? It increases because we realize he's so amazing and awesome. Yeah. And, see the broader picture. and what yeah. happens to the details? Yeah, they start. Maybe you start to see more. Yeah. Well, they, and they start losing their significance, and then you don't get caught on them. You start trying to look more for the theme, the concept. What is God trying to? What is God trying to tell me here? Mm. Right. Can we have an example? Like, I mean, if, if, for example, good question, Diane, because this lady over here that's been only married how many days? Uh, as of right now, 35. 35 days old gave us a chiastic okay. structure this morning in one of her verses. Oh, in Ephesians. Yeah, you said you were going to show us that. Yeah. yeah. Wants it's the see. application of before that issue that application both of them together first before that application so 35 days oh you got things going for you here okay so where's Ephesians come on yeah no where are we going come on <laughs> okay she brought us to so, so your mind wasn't wandering during the, the sermon this morning I guess but it might have wandered <laughs> you were paying attention to her. it might have wandered until he saw the chiastic structure, then he was gone. <laughs> he saw that. Forget it. Well, which which part of the I'm this chasing that. He's the servant now. Well, John told me on the way here that I announced the closing um, scripture passage, and then I read something totally different. I you know. did. Yeah, I was I was confused. But yeah. that, I had forgotten about it. It's yeah, good. He, 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 oh, I had a really good, good passage. It was a good passage, <laughs> but we don't. But we don't know where it came from. The one that did. <laughs> I don't either. I couldn't find it. It was in the Bible. <laughs> yes. All right, we're all. But we're not in Ephesians. In Ephesians, then we kept looking. I said, "Only six chapters." Since I looked out a couple times, you had. Okay, so she brought us to Ephesians chapter 2, mm -hmm. and we read verses 14 and 15. Who would like to read that to us? For he, he, go ahead. <clears throat> For he himself is our peace, who has made both one, who has made both one, and has broken down the middle wall of separation having abolished in his flesh the enmity that is the law of commandments, 
contained in ordinances, so as to create in himself one new man from the two, thus making peace. Ooh. Okay, so mm. does anything jump out there? Peace. Is there anything? Peace, peace. Peace in himself. Yeah. The thing the that jumps out at me? Is the middle wall the center of it? That would be amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Okay, so let's just say <laughs> it's in the middle. It's the middle one. The thing that jumped out at me was the commandments contained in ordinances. That just yeah. jumped right off the page. Okay, the so that's interesting. Hold that thought. This is the that's amazing. Commandments holding the ordinance. No, no. commandments contained in contained ordinances. in ordinances. Okay, and what are ordinances? Do's and don'ts. Little tiny, little tiny. But what's details. the biggest? Details. But what's details. the biggest picture that's taking place here? Look at the broad picture. What's taking place here? Walls are being taken down. Mm -hmm. Why? How? And peace is being given. Of Jesus. How? What did Jesus do? There's an abolishing in the flesh. He he in his flesh. How? Um, by, by he has made dying. both. He has made both one by dying. Oh yeah. But so does the Ten Commandments get abolished because he died? No. That's no. what you just said. No. Yes, no. you said the <laughs> Ten Commandments because <laughs> that's the concept of what's what, what's the big picture. It what depends on how about. you take it. The two were made one. one. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. So we have we, we can agree that peace I know he's good. and yeah. peace. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's usually where where it jumps out to me. You know, you start out with a phrase and then say, oh, wow, I just heard that phrase. Okay. So and what's the, what's who has made both one and then on the other end, one new man from the two. Yes. Ah, yeah, that's both right. One, said it's one, the same one thing from said the two. two different ways. Yeah, yeah that's one right. One from two. One from two. One of two, yeah. Or one from two, either one. Well, who has made both one. Yeah. And then one from so two. So both. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, two. Okay. I'm pointing two. Yep. One new man. So now what else? Ooh, okay. nice. So, so he broke down the wall. I think that has to be in there. Okay. Oh, well, unless it's has broken down the middle wall. Yeah. Middle. <laughs> the middle wall and commandments and ordinances. He abolished it. It is, yeah, it is but it's breaking not because down of the abolished. So he's saying that's right. He's saying breaking that the, that so the law that gets on the other side, right? Broken down, abolishing. Would that be? It's Law. commandments and ordinances. Yes. How about, how about creating? AC couldn't be creating? Yeah, he makes. Yeah, the what it is is he okay. creates a yep. new Create, man. Yeah, yeah. Creating, creating the new man. Okay, okay. see the now. connection? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 One's broken down. Yeah. One's the other's created. created. Nice. One is close yeah. to yeah. one. One is two. Two. One from two. Could be an opposite. And then the, the central theme is in himself. Because it's, yeah. it's, it's in his flesh, having a bond in his flesh. flesh. Yep. And, you know, uh, uh, but it goes along with the next. Are, are we good? Are we good with the ABC? Yeah, and that could be D one, D two, for that matter. No, no, no. Oh, you got, oh, you got, got another <laughs> one. You copied it wrong. You copied it wrong. <laughs> you got caught up in your new details of your notes. So we got ABC right now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, let me see. We did the the broke down and the created. Yep. Okay, yeah. yeah. Well, we'll, we'll in the manual. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't, yeah. I didn't write it down. So I want to know what down, the... created. Okay. So we. Um, this will be better if you've left out half. We'll try to come up with what you were thinking on the other side. Let's see if we can grasp the concept. So what was D? I know. We, we need to figure D out. What is D? D E S E D. Okay. Um mm. having a ball. See, I think that's the whole of fifteen. The middle wall is still, yeah. Not the, the whole of the commandments and ordinances. I see. I still see those two as linked. Yeah. Yeah. The breaking down and the abolishing. Yeah. Right. yeah the the same. I still see those two as linked. Still still be abolished his in his flesh the enmity, comma that is so. So the enmity, is, what he's saying is, is the the law. The the, the enmity is the law. Yeah. Um, which is contained in ordinances. Right, that makes sense. That, yeah, Those are because the enmity is the law, and I think that's the climax. I think that's D. Yeah, because he's replacing it with, mm -hmm. with the love of God, the love of Christ.
Christ. The flesh. Abolished the flesh. flesh, right. Because it was abolished in the flesh, right? So what, so, what, what was abolished? So have you... The enmity. The, the, enmity law con- the law. The law contained in ordinances. Right. How many laws are there? Did you see that, Sharon? Yeah. You see what I'm getting at? How many laws are there? So and that's why on, he well, has, whoops. Go ahead. Well, how do you, how, how do you want to count them? How many laws are there? 10. I don't like her. Yes. How many laws are there? How do you want to count? Oh, nice clue. Nice clue. Okay. How do you want to count? That's if you right. go from 1 to 630. Depends on how you want to count. What are the first ten? Hmm? No. What are the first ten? No, it's the first two. Right, but even the first two can be broken down to one. Right. God's character, the law of love. The law of love. So you can go from one law, the law of love, which is the to which is the the ordinances. Abolish the flesh. The law. So, so if I just stopped right here, have we already seen? Something that we've never seen before in these two verses. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So think about it. Okay. What was abolished in the flesh? What just what you wrote in D yeah, down in below? D. Yeah. Yeah. The ordinances. The what ordinances are the of ordinances. The laws of Moses. Okay. All those Old Testament sacrifices. Right. Right? Right. The sacrifices. The sacrifices. All those laws of man, those ordinances, all the feasts, they're abolished, are they not? Right. There was no need for them anymore. Okay. So, Brian, if that is the law that's here, is that whole thing the center point? So or now, now what becomes the center point? I don't know. Right. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's himself. It is. It's creating it's in himself one man out of two. He's creating in himself. Oh, commandments. Himself, one body to reconcile both of them to God through the cross. So it was the reconciliation. So but he's got it in the flesh. So he's a ball as this because he's put it in the flesh. But guess what? The center point today is the Ten Commandments. Mm-hmm. Is that abolished or is that still with us? That's still, still with us. us. Mm-hmm. Still with us, right? Mm-hmm. That's still its character. Is that is that ever going to be abolished? No. no. Is that ever not going to be the climax well, of any structure? I, I think the, the this is a big can of worms. It is a big can. So yeah. so we can debate that. We can debate that sure. because when we're in heaven. When we're in heaven, we're not going to need to have a commandment that tells us not to, uh, you know, um, have a relationship outside of our marriage. We're not going to need to have a commandment that tells us not to lie. So what I'm saying is, is the commandments are in the two. They're not in the ten. And Christ commandments are in the one. In the one. Right. Yes. Which I say the two. It's the same thing. It's the law of love. So that's that's yeah. So you can still I mean, go with the law, but not the Ten Commandments. The one law. Well, so well, I just well so I just how can I say? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead, Mark. So it, it's not in the words of the Ten Commandments, but it's in the structure that there are ten, because within the DNA code of mankind, the spiral twists at ten. It's actually in our code. The, the law is in our code. And, it, and it's to be revisited again when we're made new in his image. Because it's him. It's in him in us. So That's when right. you go into Literally, the, it spins at 10? Yes. You mean it, a twist? It, it twists at 10. Every 10 it twists. Every 10 it twists. Everybody. Everybody. Isn't that amazing? That's yeah. That's, that's yeah. Well, great. Then, 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 that's we're finding laminate. The stuff that holds it together is it's right. the shape. It's a it's a cross. Yeah. It's, a shape of a cross. Yeah. it's a cross that literally holds us together. Right. So yeah. and so it's the, the, the embodiment of the law, which was Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Right. So, so it, 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 it depends on right. and so, it depends on how you're looking at the lamp. Are you looking at the words? Are you looking at the structure? Are you looking at the one who created it? It all depends on your view of what he's trying. He's trying to get into my mind. 
and you'll understand I made you mm. in my image mm. and I put it the code in your DNA. Mm. So so and you that. added of the law of that that's what the version I use here. Mm -hmm. My my exact and this is the oh, yeah. ASV version. Yeah. It says the law of commandments. Contained in the original. Which that's brings us one. which brings us around to first angel's message for God. Fear God and give glory to him for the hour of his judgment has come and worship him who made heaven and earth and sea and springs of water. Yeah. So, and really, that's kind of the whole point is get to the point of understanding that you are creature and I am creator. Mm -hmm. If we can keep that relationship right in our minds and our hearts all day, every day, right. we're good. Yeah. I'm creature. Your creator. I'm not going to go against his law. I'm not going to do what Satan did in saying, well, your law is no good and I want to be up on the high thing. No, I'm a creature. My law is your creator. Your law. Mm. If we can get that and keep it, we've started to grasp something. What do you think, Daniel? That... So the Ten Commandments is God's character, Christ's character. Yes. Yep. Okay, so the DNA twist the ten. <laughs> well, yeah, no, I'm yeah. Yeah. I got that. You got that. Yeah. 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 Oh, my kid, right? God's <laughs> character, the Ten Commandments were, okay, the Ten Commandments were not abolished. It was a law of ordinances that were abolished. Right? Right. Okay, okay. and so it says not one jot or one tittle shall pass from the law until all things. Yeah. Right. All, right. all, right. all, all is right. fulfilled. Thank all is fulfilled. Thank you. But all, you know, all will be fulfilled. The written law of the Ten Commandments that will pass away. But God's character in us won't. Pass it away. will when He gives us those new bodies. I mean, we we'll have to have His character before that, right? But when we get the new body, it's going to be written. In us perfectly, there won't be any That's confusion, right. there won't be none of the dirt, you know. And he's not doing the writing, so to speak. Mm -hmm. You making decisions today Amen. and choosing to follow his way mm -hmm. is what's putting that up here. It's just putting the law in. Mm -hmm. That's right. Working. Only he can do that. I thought it was already there. He can, he has given us that ability to make that choice. Are we going to? Make that choice and follow his way. Yeah. So, so we're not going to go yeah, up at some. I don't know if you realize I'm saying this right. And as a sinful character, liking yeah. our sinful ways, mm -hmm. and then he's just going to, you know, pop mm -hmm. off God, and we just got whitewashed, like we just reformatted the computer. Mm -hmm. So we've been making those little decisions along the whole way. Mm -hmm. But his character is that eternal law, those ten commandments. So by choosing to follow him, that's what's going to be in our brain. So when we go to heaven, it's already there. He's not, he doesn't have to implant it on us when we walk through the pearly gates. Yeah, you don't have to see a big stone of it no, it's sitting out there. It's in your, it's in your heart, right? Yeah, no, I was just thinking about it. It's a natural bodies. decision. It's a choice. Yeah. I mean, but you see, do you need to be making decisions, even unconsciously, and they're even though we're constantly making decision to follow him, but daily unconscious decision, we are making decisions too, on unconscious at the same time. At the same time, so it's <laughs> so so those decisions actually change our our physical makeup. Changes that DNA. That right, exactly. So when you decision when daily conscious decision when you wake up in the morning. Yeah. You have to be conscious. If you go well that way, I'm constantly doing something else at the same time. So, so this is just kind of the basic concept. Do, is there any questions on that? Because if, 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 no, if we don't kind of get the part that I erased, that it could be opposites, mm -hmm. it could be a common, could be the exact word. So it was the E. That was, that's the A, D, E, D, E. A, B, C, D, E. No, no, I meant what was. Oh, oh. I mean, I'm, I'm saying, and I'm not saying <laughs> this is right, okay? I'm saying that the law of commandments 
contained in the ordinances is two separate parts. I'm putting those in two separate parts because I'm seeing contained in the ordinances of the temple services that he abolished in the flesh because he doesn't have to be, he, he did the sacrifice for us, okay? The Ten Commandments are separate. Are separate. Are separate. They're never abolished. That's why I separated it out and it fit my structure. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it was mm -hmm. a Oh, well, I see. So you can only interpret the Bible when it fits your structure. Yes. I see how you are. <laughs> <laughs> I see what kind of student you are. He's, he's confessing to that. So we have B, P, D. So it was. Yeah, because these two are matching up. These two things and are matching up. And then this is the part one. It's the no, I was asking what the, what the match is for the law. He, uh, he is uh, not a match. He is only one. Okay. And then actually, go Basically, basically, there was a We needed a bit. Hey, Jeff. Frank, there's always the That was a very clear, concise, and well done presentation. Laura, you did a great job helping him with that. <laughs> I was wondering where John was going with that. <laughs> right? You know he had to be up to something, right? <laughs> now, now, we haven't even got to what we were going to do today. So if you want to continue with this next week, I have, I have three songs that we can work through and find the chiasms. Like for homework. Can you give them no, 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 no homework. No, I think we should do it as a group. I think that would be a great idea. Next week, did you hear that? So, it's what you need to do. Um, Two weeks in a row. Forget pens. Okay, bring pencil, pencil and eraser. Bring your, bring your pencil, pencil and eraser. Uh, I can find a bunch to bring. Where here. is? Let me. What was the one we just did? Um, last week's sermon. Where was last week's sermon? Joshua. Joshua chapter four. Okay, we'll we'll last hit. Week. Oh, last week was Pastor Kim. We'll we'll hit this. Um, now I like my electronic Bible because. I can color code. So, so if you really want to be a scholar, you come with like 12 different colors of pencils. <laughs> but three is okay. How about just gray? <laughs> gray is okay. Okay. What's that? Clear. Clear? Yeah. So, if I come with like 27 colors, can you So these, these colors. My favorite color. These dark purple right. underline. Actually, white is this top and white is my favorite. Between the top and the bottom of the structure. Because it has all okay, the green highlights. highlights. That's the color the green between the top and the bottom of the structure. So yeah, when we're working through this, all color. When we're working through this, working through this you're going to want to, you know, circle what's what's the common and all of a sudden you got 12 circles and you're not going to remember well it's circle d but or you circle different e. colors then you can follow all you and at yeah. least if you have three you can rotate it red green blue red green anatomy and physiology if you do it with a pen, coloring book you're really you're gonna, you're gonna because you're gonna you're gonna change your mind i don't know if we change brian's mind no, no, Brian's so mind is pretty well made up. <laughs> Brian really knows all this stuff better than me. No, I do not. <laughs> just there was uh, just one thought while oh, I got to hear. Just because I'm we, convinced of it. Before we close, <laughs> two, two brought a, two brought a thought, thought in that, that people that are listening from Zoom get a lot of background talking while you're presenting, and it interferes with their ability to understand. Because that's just how you know the electronic. Oh, the microphones work. The microphone works, but it bombards or bombards. Yeah, we didn't know. Voices, so. So, it uh, might need to yeah, be, no, no, it no, might no. need to be turned on on your device a little oh, bit. Well, or, or maybe we could listen to turn, the teacher and not all talk in between and hard. just answer questions in between. Because we want to have a lot of time too, right? So yeah. Oh, um, does Sue have any questions? You have any questions, Sue? Can you start? You're on mute too. What? <laughs> what? You gonna talk to us? Just, just that the chiastic stru structure reinforces God's word. Amen. Amen.
It wasn't a question. We asked for questions, not comments. <laughs> All right. So, Cindy, I didn't get you to open with prayer, so I'll get you to close with prayer. <laughs> Oh, dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for allowing us to come together today to study your word and to understand all that you have for us. We ask, Lord, now as we close that you will continue to abide with us. You will continue to show us as we study these things that we've learned today. We ask you, Lord, to just um, be with us and abide with us, teach us and love us. Give us your Holy Spirit so that we may go out and talk with others and share what we learn. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.